playing. I love it. I've I met attorneys from all over the world. Top-notch speakers and uh, excellent socializing and networking. The content is very good. I found the content very useful. Washington, D.C. played host to INTA's annual meeting in 2012, but it's never too soon to plan ahead to Dallas, Texas in 2013. I'm Monty Francis with INTA TV. The Lone Star State and the Dallas Convention Center will play host to trademark professionals from all across the globe in May, and we want to see you there. Dallas uh, meets the first criteria of meetings and there are a great number of flights into Dallas. It's, it's a wonderful city for transportation. It's going to be easy for people all over the world to get to Dallas. Then, Dallas is a very sophisticated convention center. There's a lot to do. They're looking forward to having us there. It'll be a new experience for INTA, our first time in Dallas. It's going to be a very exciting meeting. The premier event for the IP industry, INTA's annual meeting, provides attendees with the invaluable opportunity to network with thousands of trademark professionals from more than 150 countries. It gets bigger every year, which is great. People from all over the world, uh, yet I run into my old friends. I can find them in the crowd, so it's a great event. Renew old friendships and make new connections during what has become a must-attend event for the ever-growing and ever-changing IP industry. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful learning experience, and also there is a lot of opportunities you can contribute it to the community. INTA's annual meeting is the only place to find a wide variety of informative sessions on the latest issues confronting the IP industry and INTA staff and volunteers are already hard at work lining up the program for 2013. I'm looking forward to going down there because I'm not going to be a first time conference attendee and I'm going to know my way around a little bit better and uh, know where I can go to get the most out of the conference even better. The lineup will include opportunities for the academic community, both for those who teach and for students of trademark law. Well, this is my first time too. So um, I think I'm, I didn't know what to expect. Like when, of course, I knew it, there there were like 10,000 attendees. But I mean, once you get here, it's like when you get the experience for real. Hello, fellow. See you in 2013 in Dallas. It's going to be fun. A lot of networking opportunities. At the center of it all will be an exhibit hall where you will get access to law firms, media companies, and trade associations from around the world. It's a chance to get an up-close look at products, services, and trademark solutions. There's so much to cover at INTA's annual meeting in 2013, but there's also fun to be had. And Dallas has a lot to offer attendees. We have 11 unique entertainment districts within three miles of the Dallas Convention Center. An amazing dining scene with a terrific four-star, five-star dining restaurant, which I know um, into attendees appreciate. Um, terrific arts district that's the largest contiguous arts district in the country. Um, sports, the Dallas Mavericks, uh, hopefully the Rangers will be playing too. So something for everybody in Dallas. Dallas is an absolutely wonderful city. Uh, southern hospitality, the people are absolutely delightful. I think everyone is going to be really surprised at how fun it is, culture, the weather is always nice, and of course the programming. Save the date for INTA's 135th annual meeting, May 4th through the 8th in Dallas, Texas. For more information, visit www.inta.org 2013. I'm going to ask all of you to join me in Dallas in 2013. It's going to be a fantastic meeting and I look forward to seeing all of you there.